Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week in the world of BMX that I think you might care about. So let's get right on into the news. The first thing I always talk about is sponsor news when there is something to talk about. And this week we have a welcome video for Hobie Doan to s and pro team. And then after that, I'm gonna jump right on into the contest and jam news. This week we're going to be talking a lot about Nora Cup because there's a lot to talk about. It's going down this Saturday. So let's get right on into the nominees for all of the Nora Cups that are going to be given away this Saturday. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Street Rider of the Year Award. The nominees for this one are Dakota Roach, Dan Crook, Dennis Enerson, Nathan Williams, and Simone Baracco. And based on what I can remember from the past year, this one is so hard to pick a winner for. And honestly, this is the one I have the most to say about because at first I thought Dakota Roach should should get it and then I remember Dan Crook's video section that dropped with all of the insane stuff in there and then I thought Dan maybe should get it and then after that I remembered Nathan Williams video sections that have dropped this year and everything that he's done so I thought maybe Nathan should get it and then I started to think about how creative Simone is and how much different and unique his riding is compared to everyone else on the list I'm not even going to consider Dennis here because honestly he should should win every single Nora Cup that he's up for this year just based on how many different contests and different type of contests he was in. Everything Dennis did this year just leads him to be the number one rider of the year hands down and I want to get some variety into my picks so I'm not going to pick Dennis for every single one. With that being said though, Dan Kruk is the only person out of this group who has not yet won some sort of Nora Cup. So I'm going to go with Dan Kruk for the number one street rider of the year. After that is the number one transition rider of the year. And the nominees for this one are Alex Heim, Corey Walsh, Dennis Enerson, Larry Edgar, and Logan Martin. And I feel like the essence of this award is how well someone uses the transition, not necessarily the tricks that they do above the transition or on the coping or anything like that. I feel like it's riding the transition and no one does that better than Corey Walsh on this list. Everyone else shreds transition, don't get me wrong. I just feel like Corey Walsh uses the transitions in a way that no one else can on this list. But I'm curious to hear what you guys think about all of these Nora Cup nominees and who you guys think should win. So let me know in the comments down below. Let's get a conversation going about Nora Cup because there is a lot to talk about. After that, we've got the Flatlander of the Year Award. And honestly, this is one that I don't have much of a say in just because I really don't know that much about Flatland. But the nominees for this one are John William Provost, Alex Jumelin, Matthias Dandois, Moto Sasaki, and Yu Katagiri. And like I said, this one's just so tough for me to call personally, but using the video that they put together with these nominees, I'm going to go with Yu Katagiri, purely based on the fact that he is so young. I'm pretty sure he's only 13 years old, so he's probably like half the age of every single other person on this list. And I just think that it would be awesome if a 13-year-old Flatlander was Flatlander of the Year. After that, we've got the Trail Rider of the Year, and the nominees for this one are Chris Hardy, Jay Lonergan, Maddie Aquazap, Satoski Enda, and Thomas Rabo Robinson. This is another one that's tough without knowing the guys on the list personally, but I'm sure that they all deserve to be on there. And just the fact that they're on this list means that they're putting in the time in the trails and riding trails and just doing what a trail rider does. And also on that note, I am super pumped that everyone on this list makes this a super legit trail rider. Rider of the Year Award. And with that being said, I'm going to make Maddie Aquazap my pick for the Trail Rider of the Year. After that, we've got the video part of the year with the nominees being Dan Lacey and his Beyond video, Dakota Roach and his Native Land 3 video, Dennis Anderson's Caps Lock video, Jordan Hango's 2017 Fall Drop video, and Zach Gerber's Us and Them video part. 
This one honestly has to be the hardest Nora Cup to pick a winner for because every single video on the list is absolutely bonkers. This is literally the five best video parts that came out this year, and that makes it very difficult. Personally, for me, it's between the burliness and tech of Dennis Enerson's Caps Lock video and Zach Gerber's Us and Them video part. They both pushed BMX in their own ways and in burly ways as well. Dennis with his roof drop to double peg on a rail to 180 out and Zach with his double peg up a ledge to front flip. But I'm going to give this one to Zach because he has been putting in work for years now coming out with insane video parts and this is the first time that he's up for this award to my knowledge, so I think he deserves to win this one. After that, we've got the Reader's Choice Rider of the Year Award. The nominees for this one are Lewis Mills, Courage Adams, Boyd Hilder, Dennis Anderson, and Felix Prangenberg. And as I said earlier, Dennis Anderson is taking this one 100%. There's no question about it. No one even comes close to all of the things that Dennis did this year in all of the different types of riding, contests, his caps lock video, and everything else in between. Dennis Anderson is winning the Reader's Choice Rider of the Year Award for Nora Cup this year. And if you think I'm wrong, let me know who you think should win and why you think they should win in the comments down below. Nora Cup is going down at the Battle of Hastings this Saturday. It's going to be live on Ride's website at 1.30 PST Pacific Time in the afternoon. So be on the lookout for it. It's awesome that it's going down in the middle of the day over here because it's going to be happening at night over there in Hastings where everyone's at. So watch that live if you care. I was fortunate enough to be able to attend a Nora Cup a couple years ago and it was an amazing time. So I'm sure that watching it live will be at least something because not everyone can go over and be there for the Battle of Hastings and Nora Cup. And that's everything for Nora Cup as of right now. But speaking of Battle of Hastings, the content is starting to come out from Battle of Hastings this year. And the first thing to come out is a practice video from Ride. There's also going to be a live stream from the Battle of Hastings going on on Sunday. I'm not exactly sure what time it's going to be because I don't know if what's displaying on YouTube is the time for them or the time for me it says 10 o'clock for the best trick contest and 11 o'clock for the finals so it could be for me all i know is that it says that it's going to be 10 a.m and 11 a.m check that out and uh, if you guys know any more details let me know in the comments down below as well after that we've got a highlights video from the simple summer session from the street portion we've got the ride further tour at skills park with sergio leos taking the win then we've got a video from the soul cycle and bounty hunters amsterdam street jam and a highlights video from from the Posh Woods High Air and Best Whip Contest. If you've never watched a high air contest in person, you have no idea what you're missing out on. But for all you trail guys out there, there's this video and a couple more that we're going to be talking about when we get into the videos, which we're going to be doing right now. The first one and the one that I would say is absolutely on the must watch video list for this week is Tyler Rembold versus 100 rails in one day. This dude grinds over 100 rails because I'm pretty sure he does like 105 in the video. A lot of people are afraid to do one rail in one day and this dude does over 100. It's pretty awesome to watch. After that, I wanna talk about High 83 in Eric Ballman production. Eric Ballman filmed over an eight minute video on a High 8 camcorder featuring so many different names that you'll recognize that I can't even list them all and at the end of it there's a little bit of a nod to Van Homan and Criminal Mischief with a clip of Van Homan. After that we've got Mike Hucker Clark versus the front flip. This one is pretty awesome to see the behind the scenes on. It's a gigantic front flip that he did in his hot dogs who can't read video part section. It's pretty obvious from this one that it was a very quick hit and run mission and it's always cool to see the behind the scenes on these things that we probably would have never even knew about without something like this. After that, we've got a video called No Time to Hate from Hideout BMX. We've got one from 
Rihards Brinkus. It's called Summer 2018 video and it's from Par BMX. Then we've got one from Japan called Daruma Street Volume 5. Then a stacked trail session at Sidley Woods. This one features Dennis Anderson, Greg Illingworth, Boyd Hilder, Jason Watts, and more. We've got another trails video from Jefferson's Woods. This one's called New New 2018. And then the last video to talk about this week leads us right on into the products from this week because it actually should have gone in the product section. It's called Making Wax In-House and it's from Merit BMX. And that brings us into the products from this week. The first thing to talk about is that We The People's 2019 completes are now available. Then we've got a write-up on Ride's website for the BSD Swerve Hubs and then a video highlighting the 2019 Misfit line from Fit. This is all of their bikes that are 16 inches and under. And that brings us to the interview section from this week. The first one is the Rollback Podcast featuring Kyle Carlson from Vital BMX, this time with Andy Buckworth. Then another BMX in our Blood Podcast. This time it's with Brian Foster. Part two got released this week and part one was released last week when we did Montana Ricky's Rider Spotlight, so I didn't get a chance to talk about it. I'm sure that these ones are going to be worth listening to. Brian Foster is an absolute legend and he's been in the sport forever and he seemed to have done it all it's definitely one that i'm going to be listening to in the future and i think you should too after that we've got part two of ride on talking to ian morris the owner of united and then we've got my favorite video of the week 100 this is at the top of the must watch list and it's your favorite rider's favorite rider from ride bmx this time with demarcus paul this video just shows how much of a true professional demarcus is is and just hearing the way he talks about BMX and people in general is refreshing and something that we need more people to speak out on. He talks about the way that you treat people and responding to kids whenever they message you and it just shows he's just he's a professional. A lot of people talk about professionals in BMX and it's time that Demarcus Paul gets put on that list and if you want to hear who he looks up to as well as hear someone talk like a true professional as I've said watch this video and check out your favorite rider's favorite rider with Demarcus Paul. And with that being said, that's going to wrap up this week's BMX news. I hope that I covered everything that you care about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as far as your favorite stories or who you think is going to win the Nora Cups for this year. If enough people get involved in the comments about Nora Cup, it'll be really interesting to see who's right and who's wrong about the winners. Either way though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I come out with this BMX news video every Friday Friday and I try to have it out at or before 4 p.m. I make tips and tricks videos every Tuesday and other types of riding videos throughout the week. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.